Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have Bachelor in Paradise spoilers revealed by Reality Steve. We have who he believes may be engaged in photo evidence and video evidence to prove that. We love this. We love to go through and see some random tourists say, staying in some resort in some random city in Mexico, taking some grainy footage. This looks like if Bigfoot was staying at a, a, in Cancun. That's what the footage is going to look like. But either way, he says several people are absolutely together, and he's pretty sure they're engaged at the end of Bachelor in Paradise. So Bachelor in Paradise has wrapped filming. And they, it'll be airing in a couple months, and we're going to cover all this and watch how it all goes down. But right now, we're starting to piece together, or I should say reality. Steve is starting to piece together who it could be, and we're going to listen to what he has to say and watch that evidence coming up right now. Follow me on Instagram, at DNeals, for stand-up show updates. Seattle, 824, August 24th, and Huntington Beach, August 17th. Those shows will uh, be doing an extended set. So bring your friends, bring your family, bring your Bachelor in Paradise uh, engaged your fiance. I don't care. Bring, bring them all. And also every after, every morning at 10 a.m., patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind the scenes bonus content. And this afternoon we'll have Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast. Okay. So let's get into it. Here's what he has to say. And we're going to play the uh, podcast from Reality Steve along with the different videos we'll play as he talks about them. Which was, I got a screenshot. Somebody walked by an office at the Vedanta Hotel in Mexico where they film Bachelor in Paradise. They sent me a screenshot about two days before filming ended. That screenshot was tweeted out yesterday. You can pretty much it see. Is. It says, girls' schedules, cat, 12.45 to 2.15 p.m., pickups. That's where she has to go back into her room and film uh, some ITMs of things that maybe they uh, forgot to do or the sound wasn't great, so they have to redo them. And then it said 2.30 to 4 p.m., nails and spa. Under that, it said Eliza, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., I think it says hair appointment, 2.30 to 4 p.m. pickups, 4 o'clock to 5.30, nails and spa. All right, so let's just pause and reconfigure uh, ourselves with who these contestants are. This is Eliza, all right? She's uh, from Berlin, Germany, and I believe she was on this past, was she on Zach's season? She's now, I don't even remember. Um, but here th she is looking absolutely stunning. So she is going to be a force to be reckoned with on the beach for sure, and we've got uh, Kat Izzo is the other one on the show who I always thought was just, um, you know, she obviously had, you know, sort of a light villain edit, like early season villain edit, kind of like got stuck in some random fights, maybe kissed a guy when it, there was a group date, pulls Zach into the hallway, that type of thing. Real innocent stuff, if you ask me. So that's who we've got so far. Let's continue. Right next to them, it had Gentlemen. 9.30 a.m., John Henry. 10.45 a.m., Aaron B. Under that, 2.30 p.m., Cat. 4 o'clock, Eliza. So when I saw that, two days before filming ended, I said, okay, these look like two couples that made it towards the end. But again, am I just going to base a spoiler off of a dry erase board picture that I got? I would. I, it, yeah. <laughs> it looks self-explanatory, but it still wasn't enough for me. You know I like to get confirmation on things. So I kept that in mind. And I was like, it certainly looks like it, but I wasn't going to make assumptions on which girl was with, was with which guy. I didn't know if Kat was with John Henry or Aaron B. And I didn't know if Eliza was with John Henry or Aaron. I didn't know which one was with. And just so you remember, John Henry right here, we know from Joey's kissing group date here. There's John Henry on the left. And it, just quick advice, John Henry, pull that hair back. Let, let your eyes out for the ladies. Um, got a nice tattoos. He's a tat daddy. So there he is. And, of course, Aaron B. Well, it has been what I would consider the instigator on the issue going down with Brayden. But I'm sure he's a nice guy regardless. But he's playing into that role where he's the righteous man. And again, this spoiler would mean he doesn't work out with charity. But those are the two guys we're working with right now. Continue, please, sir, Steve Carbone. Which, so, I kept that in mind. Well, this past weekend, I got an email, uh, a DM from somebody who took a video last Saturday night, July 8th. Not this past Saturday, the Saturday before. July 8th at Rudy's in Virginia Beach, and it was Cat with John Henry. And the onlookers there said they were holding hands. So clearly they are together. They are a couple. I do believe they got engaged at the end of filming. 
There it is, folks. There is your Reality Steve breaking news. He believes Kat Izzo got engaged to John Henry, who, of course, I mean, that's a good-looking couple. You know what I mean? Where's, let's see, we can John Henry right there. I mean, there's a good, I don't, we, don't, we don't know much about him. That's a good-looking man right there. A little facial hair. He's young. He's got a sleeve tattoo. Oh, he's so edgy, but he's misunderstood. You know, that type of deal. Uh, yeah, very, very exciting. Um, and so anyway, let's watch that video. Let's watch the video. It's grainy, but let's listen to it. Pretty funny stuff coming from just some random person sitting next to them in Virginia Beach. I thought you said you were taking a video of The Bachelor. It's not, it's not on me. So the audio is actually funnier. This is some random guy. So I'm, I'm assuming here, here, I'm going to make some assumptions. This is probably some random guy with his wife or girlfriend. And she's going, oh my gosh, they're from The Bachelor. And then the guy goes, I thought you were taking a video of The Bachelor. And she's like, shut up, Steven. They can hear us. I thought you said you were taking a video of The Bachelor. It's not, it's not on me. <laughs> He's actually funny. He goes, I thought you were taking a video of The Bachelor, but it's not on me. So this guy's funny. I thought you said you were taking a video of The Bachelor. It's not, it's not on me. What did she call him? Ted? Shh, Ted. All right, that's, anyway, I don't know. That's funnier to me. So there it is, and that's John Henry and Kat, um, presumably engaged per reality. Steve, let's continue to see what might be going on with Eliza. We have video of them post-filming, so clearly they're still together. I have the white dry erase board two days before filming ended showing Kat and John Henry's name on there. Putting two and two together, I'm guessing they got engaged. Um, now, the other video I posted yesterday. And by the there, way, you might think I'm pimping for Steve. I don't care if you think I'm pimping for Dave. But this is his fastball. This is what the guy does. No one does what the guy does. He gets video. He's got grainy. <laughs> he looks. Like, he looks like he's got you know someone's uh, you know Soul Cycle class uh, you know written on a thing. He's got uh, megapixels. He's got it all. This is this is this is what we love here. Oh, and then he talks about it, and then you can go. I mean, look, he talks about it on his podcast, and then you can go check out the uh, the other version. The guy's printing money here. He's got yeah. He's got you wrapped around his finger. Was from an Instagram story that was sent to me. This was about two or three days after filming had ended at the Vedanta, and it was just somebody walking through the lobby, and you see Eliza sitting in a chair next to a man, and that is Aaron B. And so I didn't – we saw Eliza's name on the dry erase board. We saw Aaron B.'s name on the dry erase board, and now here's video of them post-filming. So clearly they were together post-filming, but I don't want to say – that Aaron and Eliza are engaged. Maybe they are. I'm not saying they are. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm just saying I haven't been told. Yeah, they could be. I mean, this could be them breaking up. I mean, chances are they're dating, at least could be engaged, but it could also be a whole bunch of different things. But, you know, very interesting Instagram footage here that has been acquired by one uh, Steve, um, Lord of the Olive Garden Carbone. Okay, keep going there, Bob, my guy. If they are or aren't. What I do know, though, is Aaron has pretty been pretty uh, open about where he's been since he's been back from filming. And Eliza's been in Germany since filming ended three weeks ago. So would be kind of awkward to say that they're engaged. When are these two seeing each other? Are they just are they engaged and just having a, a FaceTime relationship until one of them can see the other one? I don't know. All I do know is confirmation and proof. There's Aaron and Eliza sitting in the Vedanta lobby two or three days after Bachelor in Paradise filming ended. Well, I'll say this. I mean, they've so she's got to go back to Germany, right? She's got to go back home after filming. They probably fly her back home. And, you know, it's been only a couple of weeks, you know, so maybe she'll have another trip planned out. Uh, luckily, there isn't that long of a um, sort of... Um, uh, a time between filming and when the show will air. Unlike Chelsea Vaughn, who had to wait something like 12 months or something to like, it's like, who's got the time? Who's got the time to hide a relationship that long? You know what I mean? It's right there in the tweet, in the video that was sent to me. So those are the two that I can tell you about that. I know for sure are ended the show together. John Henry and cat 99% sure are engaged. Aaron B. and Eliza, not sure of. Now, I know a lot of you are asking, what about some of the other ones? What about Rachel? What about Blake? I can tell you this. 
Rachel was involved with Tanner during the show, during Bachelor in Paradise, but they didn't work out, and Rachel self-eliminated at some point during filming. Rachel Reckia, that Blake is. Blake was involved with Jess Gerard. No way! Cat's good friend. Blake was involved with Jess during filming, and Blake also self-eliminated. Oh, I was so hoping Blake uh, was with Jess Gerard. All right, so let's go. So just just to uh, – we're doing this last minute here. So we've got Jess Gerard. As you guys know, she's been a friend of the program. And by friend of the program, we just like her. She's got a bubbly, sparkly personality, glitter, the glitter gang. And, of course – uh, Blake, you know, I'm so I wonder if I wonder if uh, Blake bounced on her. So we go over here to Blake. We know Blake Moines, of course. Moines in French means less, uh, but Blake is more than enough for us. Uh, it's spelled differently, but there he is, the old shower king himself. Maybe Blake. I mean, look, guys, come on. Who doesn't want Blake to be the next bachelor? Come on. We can get Emily, his mom involved. You get the sister can show up in a whole family affair. They can have me come by, you know, whatever, whatever you need, Blake. I'll be there for you. Morning out. Look, morning after fantasy suites, I'll come and bring some fresh warm croissant, you know, whatever you need, guys. Come on. So anyway, Blake, this will be interesting to see Blake here. Uh, old Blakey boy, uh, you know, our ripped king, uh, uh, saving turtles one, one shell at a time. So, <laughs> so we've got Blake. And then, of course, and again, I don't know. To me, Jess is young. Jess plays young. She's young, but plays even younger. You know, she's a, she's a, you know, a spring break away from a Taylor Swift concert. And we love her to death. But, like, will how will she do on Bachelor in Paradise? My guess is she's zero controversy. She's one of the it girls that people are trying to kind of talk to because she's fun and bubbly. And, of course, um, didn't work out um, on her season. Was she on Clayton's season? I can't even remember. No, was she on Zach's season? It all blends in. I guess she was on Zach's season. But either way... Um, her and Blake, that will be fun to watch. Of course, we also know Katie Thurston will be arriving to have a nice conversation with Blake, and maybe they'll get some resolution. Rachel Reckia and Tanner did not work out. Uh, my guess is, if I just had to take a guess, that Rachel Reckia has one of those sort of Genevieve meltdowns. You know what I mean? So uh, there is Tanner. Jeez, looking good. Leave some abs for the rest of us there, my guy. Come on. You wearing sunscreen? What is going on? Nice rhomboids. He's got a lot of rhomboids. Ladies love a good rhomboid. I'll tell you that. Uh, they like to romp on the rhomboids. Uh, anyway, let's, let's, let's finish off here with Steve. Neither of them are together with anybody as far as I know post-filming. I mean, if it's, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to just tell you what happened during Bachelor in Paradise. It's almost impossible for me to keep up with every single one of these people post-filming. You can do I it. I haven't heard that Rachel and Blake have gotten together with anybody post-filming, so I'm just going to leave it at what I know from filming, and is that is Rachel and Blake both self-eliminated during filming. Rachel was involved with Tanner. Blake was involved with Jess. We may scrap this whole thing, to be honest. I don't know. Well, there are your updates. For more updates, you know, Reality Steve, spoiler king, he's got them all for you, and we're just here to comment on it all. Very interesting stuff here. Congrats to the engaged couples, and very excited. I mean, I'm not just here to hype it up, uh, you know, wrestling, like a professional wrestling style. Oh, step into a slim gym, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see Blake, Jess, Rachel, I'm excited to see it all. We'll have to see how it all plays out. If you're excited to see me in Seattle, August 24th, or uh, Huntington Beach, August 17th, speaking of alumni, we might have some alumni from maybe a recent Bachelorette season coming to the Huntington Beach show. I'll tease it all day. Uh, you can come check out tickets uh, for the Seattle show or on sale. Link in the comments section. Go to linktree.com slash Dave Neal. You can also get those tickets by going to my Instagram. In, this, in the Huntington Beach show, just save the date, August 17th. Tickets will be coming out soon and other content coming your way shortly. We'll be back with more right after this.